Hi you guys. Well, um, <laughs> hmm, went shopping today with mom. Um, you know, one of our most favorite things to do together is thrift store shopping. And, um, one of the coolest places to do that around here is actually over in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And, um, I mean, Spokane is great. We have great thrift stores and stuff like that, but I kind of go to them all the time and, um, they're all kind of spread out, like spread apart, you know, but in Coeur d'Alene, um, there is about a dozen thrift stores within about a 20 block radius. So it's actually, uh, kind of fun to, to do that. And it takes us, you know, five, six hours to kind of hit them all. Not all of them are actual thrift stores. Some of them are like, you know, antique malls or whatever. Um, and, you know, so I won't say that, you know, we only went to thrift stores, but, um, you know, I'm pretty picky when I go to those antique malls, um, antique stores. Um, I know that the stuff that's there is, you know, it's more expensive and I just go into it with, um, the idea that I might find something that, you know, somebody's, um, just trying to move and, um, you know, I get it. Like they buy stuff to sell it. Um, they resell, um, you know, the same kind of stuff that I'm looking for. So, you know, I'm, I don't go into it trying to, uh, you know, talk them down or anything. You know, if I feel like I, you know, some, I, something I really want and I'm buying, you know, spending a decent amount of money with a certain vendor, um, I will try to barter a little bit, you know, but, um, I'm not going to insult somebody by trying to, you know, get something at cost or whatever. So like I get it. Um, so we didn't really have, um, a map like laid out or anything of what store we're going to go to first or anything. But, um, what I do is I just get to the center of town and, um, search on, uh, uh, Google thrift stores near me, you know, and it just kind of maps it out for you. And it's kind of cool. So, um, anyway, I'll jump in. Um, I will say, let's see how many places did we go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We went to seven stores. Um, I did actually purchase something at each store. So, um, not all, uh, were the same. So anyway, um, the first place that we went was actually this place called, um, junk on fourth street. And, um, I got their card. Um, they are in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, uh, 811 North fourth street. Um, and it's basically, you know, a vintage, um, store and, um, you know, hand, handmade, like vintage style, um, stuff. Okay. So it wasn't really, uh, an antique mall or a thrift store. It's really just, uh, like a vintage, um, you know, store where, uh, different vendors who, um, make stuff, you know, sell it, um, and they rent a booth or whatever. So, um, my mom actually wound up getting a really pretty blouse that, that was handmade. And, um, and I wound up with, um, just some stamps really. And a couple of greeting cards from that store. Um, but I was pretty happy to find the stamps. Um, they're all, looks like they're all foreign stamps. I haven't even opened these bags. Um, they were $5 a bag, but, um, which is definitely more than I would normally pay. But, um, I was pretty excited about the stamps. So, um, the way that they had them kind of split out was kind of cool. A lot of them are not canceled. Um, so I really like that. And they're just a lot of, you know, postage that I don't have. So I'm not a stamp collector and <laughs> at all. Like I basically, um, you know, in a way sort of like destroy postage stamps, I guess. Um, so anybody who is a stamp collector and is, basically cringing right now. Just look away. Um, because I, I don't treat them, um, 
the way a stamp collector would. So anyway, <clears throat> so I actually wound up getting, um, purchasing four bags of stamps, um, from this vendor. Um, a lot of those were from, uh, Romania. I'm not going to go through these, of course, but I do kind of want to look in here a little bit and just see, um, there's like a whole sheet of these. Uh, Mozambique. These are all from Mozambique. Pretty cool though. Really beautiful stamps. Um, and I love like these um, triangular shaped ones. You know, um, look at with the rhinoceros on it. Um, so I thought these were just beautiful. And I that's what I love about postage stamps is just the imagery. Um, each one, it's like, you know... They put so much effort into creating this layout, you know, and um, just the detail involved in, and a lot of them are like etchings and um, I don't know. I just have a lot of respect for the, the art involved with um, postage stamps. So most of those are from Mozambique or African countries too. So, um, and then... Most of these, it looks like our Nicaragua and Honduras, like Central America. So that's pretty cool. I love the colors. Look at these diamond shaped stamps. Woohoo! Like they're just really pretty. So um, I will be making a lot of these into um, tiles. So look for that. Um, soon to come to an Etsy shop near you. Um, I have decided that I am going to try to list some of my tiles, but um, I think I'm going to try to make some out of these first before I do that. Who knows? Um, anyway, so these, let's see, where are these primarily from? Oh, Chile, South America. Yeah, look at these, these are cool, just with these, um, these each have like a different, you know, number on them for value, but they're all basically the same, just with the different numbers, aren't those cool, oh my gosh, I love them, so, so yeah, so new stamps, and then I just got a couple of greeting cards that I thought were super cute, and um, so this one says, your time as a caterpillar has expired. Your wings are ready. And I just thought it was a really cool image. And the maker of these cards, they just have tons of um, really neat old vintage images. And then they, you know, use like some kind of quote or something on them. And then this one says, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? I like that one too. So, All right. Um, so then... <clears throat> excuse me, from there, we actually wound up at, oh, what is the name of this place? I got two of their cards, um, because I picked up, hmm, I know I got two of their cards. Where is it? There it is. So Paris Antiques in Coeur d'Alene actually has two stores. They've got one that's like, um, I think it's basically like all of their own stuff and that is just like one store and then they have another um, like flea market style um, location so that one has like a bunch of booths that people rent um, but I think that that other smaller one um, is actually the owner's stuff so anyway and I could be off base on that but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there so Paris Antiques in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. They're at 823 North 4th, as well as 1815 North 4th. So that's Paris Antiques. So um, I actually purchased these two little golden books there at the smaller one. Um, and these were both, you know, pretty, pretty old. Let's see. I know that they don't usually have, um, yeah, this one's 1960. So the animal dictionary and I seriously want to send this one to um, Carla 
and see if I can get her to make that into a uh, like a baby book journal for my daughter-in-law. We're having a grandbaby pretty soon. Um, and this one is actually 1948, um, a name for Kitty. So this one, I actually wound up paying like $7 for this one, but um, this one was four. So, um, and that's actually all I got at Paris Antiques. So, um, yeah, it was enough. <laughs> um, okay, so let me move these kind of out of the way. And then from, from there, okay, <laughs> from there, I can't remember exactly what store we went to, but, um, oh, I think it was, yeah, I think it was this forget me not place. Um, and it's basically a house that's been converted into, uh, like a, an antique shop, you know, that is also, you know, different booths that are uh, rented out by different vendors. So, so they have like a main floor and then downstairs and also out in the back, um, in the backyard and the garage of the house. So it's kind of cool. So that's forget me not. And they're at 1402 North 4th street in Coeur d'Alene. Um, so in their very first room we went, oh, and the cool thing was that everything was 20% off because I guess it's like their anniversary or something. Um, <clears throat> so that was pretty cool. So the first room we went into, um, she said that, um, it was kind of funny when, when we went in, in the store, she wasn't like at the little desk that was there. That is obviously like where she performs her, you know, sales transactions, um, she was off in this other room and, uh, she was sitting like really close to this window in this little tiny chair and she's kind of a bigger lady. And, um, she's sitting there just like pressed up against this window. And I was like, huh, you know, and she goes, well, I'm sorry. She goes, but we have really spotty Wi-Fi, And so I'm actually stealing Wi-Fi from the, the neighbors. So that's why I'm right here by this window <laughs> anyway. So she was pretty funny. But, um, so that room, she said, yeah, this lady, uh, I kind of beelined at, um, a particular item and that I thought was pretty sweet. And she was like, yeah, she's a really good collector. She said that this lady has really good stuff and, um, you know, that, um, yeah, she had good stuff. So anyway, so mom and I actually wound up with, um, kind of in this little, I don't know, I won't call it a fight, but. Um, we were both kind of goo goo gaga over this trim. So these are all like beaded trims. And, um, so she had these in like a bushel basket, you know, and, um, so she was selling them $3 a piece or two for five. And so, you know, mom and I, since my mom does like, uh, she like repurposes lamps. Okay. Or not repurposes, but like refurbishes them and then like she does um like decoupage on the shades and stuff um and she usually will use some kind of um like embellishment around the bottom of the shade so she was really attracted to these because well i mean that's technically what these are for so um so she was pretty excited about these but i thought they were pretty neat um for you know possibly using in some like boho journals too so um so we agreed that we would split um, these trims. Okay. And as long as she gets enough of, of, um, of most of these to go around the bottom of a lampshade, she's happy. So, so anyway, we wound up with, um, I'm not even sure how many, but so we got this one. I'll show them to you kind of individually. So they're not glass beads, but, um, but still they're, they're, they're super pretty. So, so that one, and then this one is kind of like, um, these are like wooden beads. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can get this to focus on the beads. So yeah, so I thought these were pretty cool. Um, and this one's super long, like there's a bunch of this one. So yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I might even use some of these 
um, in some tassels or something, you know. So then this one on the white ribbon, um, and of course it's all tangled up. Yeah, they kind of get twisted around each other. Anyway, so this one is basically just like crystal color um, on white ribbon. So this one's pretty long. It's going to take some surgery to get it untangled, I think. And this one, Mom didn't necessarily like this one that much, but I did. Oh, there's a rubber band around it. Well, that explains partly why it was acting weird. Um, so this one has just different colored, like amber type of beads. So, so that one, and then this one here is, um, she's got it like safety pinned together, but, um, I thought this one was kind of pretty too. So it's probably enough for a small lampshade on there. And then this purpley one. Uh, with some like heart shaped beads. So, yeah, there's not that much of this one, but that's okay. And then this one is just uh, glass uh, seed beads. So, um, yeah, I thought that one was pretty neat. Oh, I guess you can't really see it if I do that. So, see, they're just seed beads, but couldn't pass it up. You know, two for two for five bucks. So let's see, five, ten, fifteen for like fifteen dollars. You know, we got all of those bead trims. So, and then um, that same room, um, I got this book, um, the conspiracy of the carbonari. I don't have any idea what that is or or anything, but I really like the book. Um, just the cover and stuff. I thought it was pretty cute. And I like the paper. I really like the weight of the, the paper in this book. So, so I picked it up. Plus, you know, it was 20% off. So I think she had, yeah, she had it priced at $5. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. And then she had this book. Mom actually, um, pointed this one out to me. So I thought the you know, this would have some pretty cool images in it. Um, and these would be fun to use for different projects and stuff like that, you know. Marilyn Monroe and all these movie stars and stuff, you know. So, yeah, this would be a fun book to disassemble and use some of the pictures in some of my journals. And this was like $4. So, yeah, 20% off of $4. Um, okay. Let me put those back in this bag. And then, it was a postage day today. It was definitely a postage stamp day. Because, um, that lady had... A set of um, well I'm gonna show you the other one first because this is the first one that I saw um, postage stamp sets or uh, collections um, so I have purchased um, two other stamp collections um, in my life and both the first the first one I bought was pretty cool because it had a lot of foreign stamps. Um, the second one was all pretty much all U.S. stamps, um, so I really like the foreign stamps. But anyway, so I bought a whole stamp collection. <laughs> um, it was priced at twenty one dollars. Um, so then you know twenty percent off. So it's the same the same uh, the same store. So this is kind of how you know they get organized. Uh, this is how a stamp collector would organize their stamps So in these books. Um, and these little hinges, these are what they call hinges. And like I said, I'm not a stamp collector, so 
I don't know exactly how you're supposed to do this, but I know that it's basically like, um, you like lick this. It's like sticky. It'll get, you know, like a postage stamp. Um, and then this is how you would attach it to your book or, or whatever, using these little, they call them hinges. So well, there's a bag of those in there. Um, and this is kind of just like a catalog, I guess. Oh no, this is actually a book to collect the stamps in. So this has a bunch of stamps in it. Yeah. Um, uh, and these are nice, um, because they kind of tell you like what stamps you need for the different countries and stuff, you know. So this will be kind of fun to tear apart. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, somebody took a lot of time putting that together, but, um, and it's not going to take me long to tear it apart. Anyway, this was the catalog that I was thinking of. Um, and I guess this is also an album, like you could, you could collect these stamps and just paste them on over these. So I suppose that's what they are more than a catalog. Um... Let's see what else is in here. This is like a poster. Yeah, Adventures in Topical Stamp Collecting. This be kind of fun in a journal. And then, you know, just, just some random stuff that, you know, was in somebody's stamp collection. Um, things that they just tossed in here. So, um... And I love going through this stuff, you know, it's just, it's just really fun to kind of see what was important to, to somebody, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, most of these little envelopes have, um, have stamps in them. <laughs> so, you know, I'll be going through that, all of these and kind of putting them all in one place. Um, I thought this was pretty cute, a little card to a stamp collector. Um, and then these are like some postcards, like prepaid, um, postcards. So like four cent stamps on them, three cent stamps on these. thought those were kind of neat. And then some of the same thing, but these are, um, these have been used. So these are like canceled, you know. Just little, um, yeah, people just write little notes on them. So, anyway, and some glassine envelopes to boot. Um, and this is just a whole, like, envelope full of, um, stamps that are on paper, you know. These are basically just torn off of the corner of an envelope, you know, and, um, you know, they would take the time to, like, steam those off of there and, and, um, salvage the stamp, so, but yeah, so this whole, like, envelope is full of, um, like, there's a lot in here. It's more than what it looks like on there, see, there's, there's a ton, so, bunch of stamps in there. This is an empty envelope. I kind of did look through this already. Um, there's some airmail stamps. Here's another book. Um, and then this is finally, this is like a little dictionary type of thing. And this is the catalog that I thought I was talking about that whole time. <laughs> there's a little catalog, another catalog. And then um, the bottom of this box is full of you know, stamps that are mostly on paper, so, um, just some random stuff in here, so, cool, like, envelopes and stuff, neat ephemera, so that's one collection, and then, on the shelf right below this, there happened to be another stamp collection, <laughs> Um, so, you know, I won't, I won't look, I, you know, I don't know how exciting this is, but this one actually had quite a few, um, like sheets of, of, uh, 
I don't know what they call them where they're not canceled, but a whole bunch of not canceled uh, U.S. postage. And, you know, you could still use these if you wanted to on as postage. It's still, um, it's valid. It's never been canceled. So, um, yeah. So there's actually a good amount of those in here, I thought. Um, just a couple eight cent ones and yeah. So aren't those cool? Those would be so neat to make into tiles, you know, and to use in my journals, you know, that's what I do a lot of with, with the postage stamps is I just, you know, I use them in my clusters. I'll just, you know, attach a, a stamp to the corner of a page or um, something like that. And then there's a whole bunch of little, um, like, envelopes, glassine envelopes, um, and, um, you know, some paper, like, coin envelopes and things like that in here. Look at that one. It's got a little window. I hope this is still recording okay. I am frozen. Anyway, well, hopefully... Hopefully it's still good. I'll have to watch the video and make sure that it recorded okay, even though it froze on my screen. Um, so we've got a few envelopes that have stamps in them in here too. So quite a few. <laughs> okay, and these are kind of separated by like country, I think. And then um, I thought this was pretty cool. It's an old Band-Aid box. <laughs> Um, with a bunch of stamps in it. And these are pretty old. A lot of these are really old. This is mostly U.S. postage. So, and in most of the collections that, or the other collections that I've purchased, I've not seen a lot of these. So I bet some of these are actually, you know, pretty valuable. Well, somewhat valuable. Who knows? Um, and then, then here's another little um, box with, I'm thinking that these were probably some special stamps that were in this little box. So, but love the purple and stuff. Oh my god. Love them. I love postage stamps. Okay. And then just a whole bunch that are still on paper, right? Um, these are so cool for junk journals, right? Um, yeah, just love them whole bunch of them. Yeah, and the whole bottom of this box is filled with um, stamps on paper. So, <laughs> this box to me is just like gold. I love it. So, all right. So, two um, postage stamp sets or collections. And then, oh my gosh, I just felt like that made my whole entire day right there. And then she had a whole bunch of, um, a different vendor had this box that had a whole bunch of like old photos. Um, and most of them were like 50 cent. So, um, well, I got, this isn't a photo, but this little, um, thread, uh, advertisement, like card, you know, there was probably some needles in there or something or, you know, on the back. Anyway, so that was like 50 cents. But I thought some of these little pictures were cute, you know. She had a, a whole stack of them, a stack about that high. And so I wound up with this many. But um, some of the images are just really cute, you know. <laughs> some, like, weird-looking people, too. Um, this one is funny. It was free. <laughs> Look at how, you know, decrepit that picture is. But that's going to be cool on a, a journal cover. Um, but there's a happy couple. So just, you know, random um, other people's family pictures, you know. I love this one. Look at this lady. So like Tim Holtz-ish or what? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Look at this little group. <laughs> this little kid. He's so cute. Um, anyway, and then here's like a class picture, I guess. Um, a couple of couples, 
sitting together. It looked like they were pretty happy. Pretty good friends. Little couple on the front steps of their place. Um, there's all the guys. There's another couple. And one more. So this one was a dollar. So most of these were like 50 cents. So that is basically um, what I wound up with at uh, Forget Me Not. Okay. And then we went to, I think that's when we went to Goodwill. Um, so where's my Goodwill stuff? Okay. Goodwill, I wound up with, I got this fabric and, <laughs> you know, I know it's not like the most beautiful pattern on the planet, but it's kind of neat. Like it's obviously polyester, but it's really super soft. And honestly, like, I think it would be really cool curtains. I do. Um, and I noticed that it's actually like made in Japan. It's got this little, um, like seal on it. And it says it was made in Japan. Silky, woolly, George's crepe. Um, this is the Lady Hamilton pattern. Anyways, made in Japan. So whatever. 99 cents for that. And then this one, <laughs> same thing, 99 cents. So yeah, I just thought these were really cool. This one I like a lot better than this one. Although I do love orange, not really my favorite pattern, but it's cool. It's still cool. Way cool. Um, and then I also got this blanket there. Well, it's more like a bedspread. I can't obviously show you the whole thing, but I can show you. I got this really nice, like, um, cotton bedspread at, um, at Goodwill. And it's in perfect shape. It's kind of like these little puffy, you know, stitches, um, with these, like, kind of like curly Q fringe on it. Um, so this was $7.99, and I thought it was really pretty. So that, and then, um, these are, um, flashcards that are all still like connected together um it's like a workbook type of thing it says <laughs> um let's see oh look at they're all different colors and stuff i didn't realize they were all different colors that's cool so these will be neat for junk journals a <laughs> Um, and then I got this game. It's tic-tac-toe, bingo, and tiddlywinks all together. So there's some bingo cards in there. And, you know, these aren't, like, super old or anything, but, um, I thought they were kind of cool anyway. You know, I think it was, like, $1.99, 99 cents for this, this box of, uh, of stuff, right? I haven't played tiddlywinks for a long time. And then there was this set of um, children's card games. So all of these cards um, are like brand new. This box hadn't even ever been opened. Um, and this isn't like vintage or anything. Um, this was 2002. So actually, if vintage is more than 15 years old, then yeah, they are vintage. And then there was a couple of little golden books too. Um, these, you know, are not like highly collectible go little golden books, but... Um, like this one looks like 2013 or something, but, and then Peter Pan, um, 2007. So a couple little golden books. Okay. So that was Goodwill. That's what I wound up with from there. From Goodwill, um, we went to this store that is called, let's see, what's it called? The Idaho Youth Ranch. And I don't think I got a card from them. I don't think. No. Um, but basically all I wound up getting in there were some scarves and some sarongs. So I like to take 
um, sarongs and make them into blouses. So they're just super comfortable. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's all I got in there, but I thought this was really pretty. I love this, um, like pink chiffon type of fabric. I thought this would be fun to use just as like ties for a journal cover or whatever. So, and then, you know, some of the, some of the embroidery on it, you know, and it's machine done or whatever, but still, I thought it was pretty. Um, and then this one, I thought this would be cool to use. Um, I might even just wear this. I don't know. This is kind of along right about my style, but, um, I have tassels on my brain. And so <laughs> I thought this would be kind of cool to, um, to use the, you know, kind of cut it like vertically into, into strips to use for, um, tassels and basically the same for this one. So, although, like I said, this is kind of my style I do where I have a couple of scarves just like this, um, but different colors. So who knows? Um, and then as far as like the sarongs, I'll just show them to you because, you know, I got them today. Um, so this one's kind of like an Indian print and I'll make that into a blouse. And then, um, this one, it's like a Hawaiian print as is this one. I love this dark purple though. It's so pretty. And these are great, like, um, for all kinds of stuff, you know, for even like a little tablecloth or, um, hang it over a lamp or as a curtain or whatever, or as a blouse, you know, um, or just to use as a sarong and, you know, use it out by the pool in the summer. Um, and then this one I thought was kind of pretty too, with these big like bachelor buttons on it. So, okay. And I actually have another one of these that I bought at another thrift store and I usually find these for like three or four dollars. So yeah, I have another one that I bought, like I was saying, um, that I need to make into a blouse. So I'll be good to go for like pool wear this summer. Um, okay. So that was the, um, Idaho youth ranch store. So from there, where'd we go? Okay. So from there we went to the Paris antiques. Um, that is actually the mall. Okay. So with all the different vendors and stuff, um, <clears throat> and I'll just show you what I picked up in there. A lot of books. Okay. I got a lot of books in there. And it was kind of funny when mom and I were, you know, kind of headed out that way. It takes us about a half hour to get there. Um, I was like, yeah, I definitely don't need any books, but <laughs> of course. So anyways, I got this little, um, this is a pillowcase that is quilted and I thought it was really pretty. Um, and I'm going to probably cut this apart and, um, maybe just use pieces of it, like in my clusters and stuff, or I don't know, but, or maybe I'll just put a pillow in it and use it. I don't know. Um, when I got this kind of beat up, uh, shorthand book. Um, I don't know if it was $2 or $4. I thought it was two. I didn't see that for until just now. Anyway, so this is a shorthand, um, book and I just love it. I think it looks super cool in my junk journals. So this will get disassembled and used in journals. Um, and then there was a vendor that had a whole bunch of, um, little golden books. Um, so I picked out some that I liked and, um, I think I'm going to wind up actually listing these in my Etsy shop, uh, for sale. So, um, and then there was this really cute little, the town mouse and the country mouse book. And I thought it was just super, super cute. So I have somebody in mind that is probably going to get this in some happy mail. <laughs> anyway, I just think it's a really cute little book. I love the little pictures. So the little golden books, let's see, I got the night before Christmas and Scuffy the tugboat. Let's see how much was, or what year was this? This is 1973. Most of these are like seventies. Um, the golden egg book. Another Night Before Christmas, A Visit to the Children's Zoo, 
Four Little Kittens, Forest Hotel Accounting Story, and Baby's Mother Goose. Uh, oh, Pat a Cake, and then The Little Red Caboose. I think this one was actually like the oldest one that I got. Yeah, 1953. So, some little golden books to put in my shop. And then, also I got this from that same, like, booth, you know, at Paris Antique, uh, How and Why. And I just thought this was really cool. I love the, um, the images in this book. And these will be really fun pages to use um, in my journals. So, yep, I'm going to disassemble this book. <laughs> Um, I just love it. Look at the colors are amazing. So like each page is just like a monochrome, um, monochromatic like color, you know? So, um, I just think that's really neat. Anyway, I like that book. And then, um, I got these two books to use as journal covers. Is this gorgeous or what? Look at that. It's just, ugh, it's just yummy. Um, so this is going to get made into a journal and, um, I like the paper in the book as well. It's that type of paper that almost has like little tiny lines running through it. You know, I don't know what that is from, but, um, but I think it's neat. I'm going to get my sewing machine out again. Actually my mom's sewing machine because mine has to go to the shop, but I'm going to make some envelopes and stuff. I need to do that. Um, and then this one too. I thought this was really pretty to use as a journal. I like that size too. It's almost like a, like a mini kind of, I don't know. I need a sip of coffee. I'm almost done you guys. I promise. So then, um, that's, no, this was, yeah, this was the same vendor. They actually had three of <clears throat> the Better Homes and Gardens books. Um, I have a copy of this one. I already have this one. Um, and I love the, you know, the images in, in these. Um, and, you know, like the, the tabbed pages and stuff, you know. And I'm going to probably get that off of there somehow. And I'm going to make this into a journal that is not a ring-bound journal. I'm going to figure out a way to make these into regular, like, journals. And then there's the decorating book. This one has some pretty cool images in it. Um, and I like the green tabs. Look at the, look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's awesome. I love it. Super 70s or 60s. When is the 60s? It looks totally 60s. Yeah, 1968. So, and then there's the Handyman's Book, <laughs> which I think is super cool. Um, I think this would be a great journal, too. 1966 on this one. So, I love this kind of stuff. Like, it t teaches you how to, like, lay tile and hang wallpaper and stuff. So... Um, these are sweet and these were five bucks a piece. So I thought that was, um, not a bad deal. And then let's see, this is getting stacked up pretty high over here. Um, and then I thought this was kind of a neat book, the world's strangest automobiles. Um, some pretty cool cars and stuff in here. And I got this just because, you know, I wanted to look at it, but some of these are kind of inspiring, you know. I want to live in a tiny house one day, so who knows. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> look at those yellow. Anyway, so I got this book. I think it's neat. And then um, I already actually have one of these, but I like to use the pages out of this book um, to wrap journals in when I ship them. So to wrap, like, you know, 
other stuff too, like my tassels now and tiles or whatever. I just think it's it's good paper for um, for packaging for my shop. And I got the um, Los Angeles Times one the other day, so so I think that was pretty cool. And then um, the last wait is this the last place? No. Oh, I'm sorry. One more and then the last one. <laughs> okay. So this place. Let's see. Oh, where was this? I can't remember. I don't think I got a card from them either. I think the last two, I didn't get a card from them. Anyways, this was just another another thrift store um, in Coeur d'Alene. Picked up some Rick Rack. Um, and this is an old, like it's still, it's got you know, barcodes and stuff on them, but I don't care. So Rick Rack for 25 cents. And this whole bag was a dollar. Um, some Boil Tex lace uh, trim in green. And I don't have any of that color, so I like that. And then these little, like, um, flowers made out of ribbon. I thought they were really pretty. So a couple packages of those. Um, and then these round paper, these paper fasteners, look at those things. Aren't those cool? I mean, come on. I love them. I'm going to make some journals using those. Anyway, and I love the box <laughs> for $1.50. Um, anyway, and then some telephone message pads. Um, I can coffee dye these. Those would be cool or not. They, they don't have to get coffee dyed. Um, and <laughs> I just got these clips because, well, they were 25 cents, and these are great when you're, like, stitching in um, signatures and stuff, and I did not have, I did not own a staple remover, so I got one, um, and then this book of floral designs and motifs, um, and there was, like, some stickers and stuff in here, so I, I don't know, <laughs> I felt like the stickers were kind of a bonus, you know, anyway, so these will be kind of cool to use in journals. Um, I might scan some of the images too. Um, and then these, this book of like florals, um, this is like how to paint these things. Um, but these make really neat journal, journal pages too. Um, and some of the images are beautiful, you know, I love them. I like this kind of stuff in my journals. Here's another one on leaves. Um... This one's all about leaves. Anyway, so these were 25 cents. Um, this one was um, Victorian Angels sticker cards. So eight cards and 63 colorful stickers. So, and this book is still complete. So it's basically like a blank card and then you put these stickers on there. So I thought these were neat. For a quarter, you know, heck yeah. Um, but I like these borders and stuff. So I don't know if these are clear or what. But uh, oh no, these are the these are cards. So then these stickers would go on those. But I thought these would be kind of fun to just use in journals. So and then these um, just envelopes. These were ten cents a piece. So. These would be kind of cool to use either in journals as covers or, some, or as covers or something like that. And then I got this basket for a dollar. I liked it. <laughs> It'd be, it's a good little catch-all basket, you know? Okay. So, like I said, I can't remember. Oh, this was the um, St. Vincent de Paul uh, thrift store in Coeur d'Alene. That's where this stuff came from. Okay. And then the very last store we went to, um, oh, of course, I can't remember the name of it either, but, um, the lady, they were closing, so it was like 10 minutes to five, and we walked in, and she was like, um, we're closing in 10 minutes, and I was like, I'll be quick, you know, so, because I am usually pretty fast in these, these places, like, I kind of beeline, um, to where I'm going, or to what I want. It's, it's almost like it calls to me, so I don't really even have to look. But um, I love this some of the yarns in this bag. This is like a sock weight uh, yarn. 
Um, so I thought these would be really cool for tassels, you know, really neat colors and, you know, you don't need much for tassels. So for $2 and 50 cents. Um, and who knows, I might use some of these to make some flowers too, you know. Um, and then there was just these little like letters, you know, I thought these would be good on, uh, art tiles, right? Maybe. And a package of these labels. Um, there's like 42 in the package, so uh, like six sheets of those labels. Um, and that that store, they always have free books on the counter, so um, near the cash register. So I got three um, free books in there, and I like this one. I like the pictures in it. So this little duck, and I like like these little illustrations, like a little flower there, you know. So anyway, so that one was free, and then I got this houseplant one, that was free. Um, yeah, just cool for junk journals, you know. And then this is an encyclopedia of cookery. So food, food, food. Oh, I got Stephen a book too. I got him a Campbell's Soup um, cookbook, but it's gigantic. It was not just for Stephen. It's I guess. It's for both of us, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so, because, uh, yeah, you can do so much with Campbell's Soup, right? Totally. All right. I'm almost done. And then I just, you know, I was like, okay, I got to go look at the books, you know, because I always have to go look at the books. Anyway, so I found this. This is the um, actually the compact edition of the Oxford English Dictionary, Volume 1, A through O. This is the compact one, okay? Yeah, I hate to see what, like, the full-size version looks like. Um, <laughs> this book was $2. But check out the font. Like, look at how tiny this is. Like, okay, that's my finger. Like, it's tiny. I don't understand this. I don't even know how you could possibly read that without a magnifying glass. I can't read it. It's so tiny. Anyway, I thought it'd be great in like miniature journals. So, um, yeah, so I got that. But I forgot to show you guys one of my most favorite things that I got today. And this actually, actually I had it, I had it sitting over here. I forgot to show you, but, um, I got all these keys at the, um, at the Paris, uh, antiques mall. This guy sells his, um, his keys for 25 cents a piece. I didn't pay 25 cents a piece for him, just so you know, but that's what he sells them for. Um, I got a much better deal anyway. So I picked out like most of his like small brass keys. I just like the small ones. So. And I like to use these on my journals. So some of them are kind of cool, you know, different shapes, not brass, but it's a neat shape. Um, yeah, just the smaller keys. There's a dog license in there too. <laughs> anyway, all right. So those are going in my key drawer. A little drawer right here that's just full of keys. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, well, thanks for, you know, tuning in and checking out my, um, my haul for the day. Um, I think that's going to hold me for a while. I should be good to go. Um, but I got some really good stuff and, um, got to spend some good time with my mom today and, uh, kind of help get her out of a funk. She was sort of in a funk today, so it made her feel better. So anyway, well, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video if you get a second. And, um, you know, if you know anybody else that really loves watching haul videos, um, you might as well share it. Um, <laughs> that'd be awesome. And if you've not subscribed yet, definitely, um, you know, do that. And, um, you know, for future haul videos, but also for my journals and some, you know, really great tutorials and stuff like that. I do live stream on Wednesday and Sunday also um, at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If anybody wants to come and hang out, that'd be great. 
Um, and uh, yeah, again, thank you for watching and um, take it easy. All right. Okay. Love you. Bye.